In this video, we'll do some sweeps using the return loss bridge. So currently I've got the SNA connected to the return loss bridge. And I've got my return loss bridge connected to my antenna switch, which is connected to a series of antennas. One note here is that is that for each connection we have, uh, adapter or connection or a switch, you know that um, causes a that could cause a discrepancy in SWR readings. Also, too, I am using very cheap cables here. I'm not using good quality coax cables, so as a result, I'm not going to get a really clean, nice looking SWR uh, sweep. But I'm just doing this just for the purpose to illustrate how to do the sweep. So uh, I encourage you to use good quality cables and connectors when you're doing these sweeps. So right now the return loss bridge is connected to my vertical antenna and I'm going to do some uh, 20 meter sweeps. Let's go ahead and do an SWR sweep. So to do this we'll select kilohertz sweep and here's the values we've been using before. So let's keep the values the same because I'm sweeping a 20 meter antenna and we're going to go over to sweep type and we're going to set that to SWR and we're going to execute the sweep. And there's the uh, SWR plot for the, an the antenna. So it's showing us the markers for the frequency we had defined for the uh, um, bandpass filter. So we could use the rotary encoder to display our cursor and we could uh, determine what the lowest SWR is of our antenna. And that appears to be somewhere around 1.3. So that's the lowest uh, SWR of the antenna. And we could determine what the approximate bandwidth of the antenna is uh, doing a subsequent sweep and setting our our markers to what we believe is the uh, uh, the endpoints where the, where we get an acceptable SWR. So we can exit out of this, and uh, it says execute to save. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, again, I'd caution you. Probably, if I was to run this sweep again, uh, an SWR sweep again, I may not get that same curve. I may get something slightly different. And that's because of the cables. I'm using crappy cables. And I've got a whole bunch of switches and connections and all sorts of adapters going between uh, the return loss bridge and uh, the antenna. So for the next sweep, let's go and let's do a return loss sweep. So we'll use the same parameters. And we'll go in and we'll select return loss sweep and we'll execute that. So to calculate SWR you're using the return loss from the antenna so it's, so, so it's showing you that uh, we've got a peak here. Now I don't know what this means but I'm sure someone else can comment on what this means but it's showing us what the return loss is and we've got the lowest return loss here at, I guess that's the resonant point of uh, the antenna. I guess that's when the most amount of energy is accepted by the antenna or propagated by the antenna and uh, a least amount of energy there at that point is being reflected back. So let's go ahead and exit out of this and save that plot. So now let's go and let's do an impedance sweep. That's the third type of sweep we can do using the return loss bridge. So we go and select impedance sweep and let's execute that. So it generates it and we see we get a dip in impedance right at the resonant point of the antenna. So if we were to cursor over 
to that point, it's telling us the impedance of the antenna at that point is approximately 55 ohms, which is what we'd expect. We'd expect it to be around uh, 50 ohms, and we're getting a 1.3, uh, 1 to 1 1.3 uh, SWR, so we expect it to be a little bit off from 50 ohms. So let's go ahead and uh, save this. So now if we go over to files, we've got several files saved and you'll see the different file types. You will see a F for filter, B for bandwidth, S for SWR, R for return loss, and X for impedance. So those are the different types there. I don't know if I can get the camera to focus in on what those values are. There. So there you can see a F uh, for, free, for filter, B for bandwidth, S for SWR, R for return loss, and X for impedance. So we could select any of those and uh, press execute and it would display. That saved, uh, so that's the return loss sweep. And let's exit from that.